cloak of warmth envelop you and dive into the new surroundings and go. When I was sort of thinking about what to name the album, I I really realized that there are a bunch of tunes on this record that focus on night or things like the stars or the moon or the moonlit cityscape and all of the sort of adventure and mystery that we associate with night. And in realizing that this was a common theme among the many tunes, I decided that the name of the record should somehow embody that as well. My mom is an English teacher and lover of literature, and she and I both really love the poems of T.S. Eliot. And she drew to my attention a poem of his called Rhapsody on a Windy Night, which really encapsulates all of the mystery and beauty that exists only when everything else shuts down at midnight. And one of the words that he uses to describe this hour is nocturnal. And when we heard that word, we were really just in love with how that really embodied the things that come alive at night. And so we decided to sort of create our own word based on that nocturnalize, and that's how we got the name. Paul Johnston was the recording engineer for Nocturnalize, and not only did he engineer, mix, and edit the music for this album, but he also helped me focus my creative vision and worked very hands-on with all of us musicians in the studio to really create the best product that we possibly could. Could we get the intro done? Let's do Is that the cool? Intro. That's perfect. We recorded this album at The Audio Department, which is a studio in Southeast Edmonton. And I was very fortunate to have some of my favorite musicians from here in Edmonton play on this album with me. I had Brett Hansen on guitar, Murray Wood on bass, Jamie Cooper on drums, Chris Andrew and Tommy Banks on piano and keyboards, Bob Tildesley on trumpet, and John Sweeney on saxophone. And as I said, these are musicians whom I've loved playing with over the past couple of years and really thought would be the perfect fit for Nocturnalize, and they absolutely proved so in the studio. I feel very fortunate to be part of Mallory's project, um, and I have for the last couple years, especially for this record, because we were able to work with some of the, some of the finest musicians, not only in Edmonton or Alberta, but all of Canada, truly, in the area of jazz. Mallory is a fantastic musician with one of her biggest strengths being improvising. She takes risks. She's melodically and, and harmonically and rhythmically so interactive with the band, and she really listens, which I think is one of her greatest qualities as a musician, and I think you'll really hear this on, on the album. Favorite song on the record to play? It's kind of hard to pick because they're so because they were so different, right? It was like, oh, it was kind of cool to like take like a gnarly guitar solo on a tune. Um, but also like something a little bit more sensitive on something else. As I was growing up, I listened to a lot of music around my house, specifically jazz, and I would listen to some more traditional jazz artists such as Ella Fitzgerald, Miles Davis, and then also artists such as Pat Metheny or Joni Mitchell, who were on the more contemporary side of things. As I write music, I find that I'm drawing both from the traditional and the contemporary, and this is really reflected on Nocturnalize. Outside the bright neon lights flash and flicker The buzz of voices to tittering won't stop The lazy fog with the buildings growing thicker Swallowing up the rooftops I wrote Brooklyn at Midnight a number of years ago after returning from a trip I took to New York City and to Newport, Rhode Island for the jazz festival there. And eventually in reflecting upon how I could add words to it, it only seemed appropriate to really write about that inspiration that I found in New York City.
Last Track is a tune I wrote the day that I found out that one of my favorite artists, David Bowie, had passed away. Sometimes you don't realize the influence that artists have on you until they're gone. Joni Mitchell said it in Big Yellow Taxi, you don't know what you've got till it's gone. And I found that was so appropriate as to how I felt when David Bowie died because I realized almost more so after his passing than any time else, the major influence he has had on so many artists. He really encouraged artists to just embrace what their heart was telling them to do. And he was constantly feeling inspired. He made records throughout his entire life, basically until he was on his deathbed. And that was just immensely inspiring to me. Though Starstruck is a celebratory song about the joy of feeling inspired by your heroes, it also reminds artists that we too have the potential to inspire others. That lady Grassland woman, stronger than a thick black Sister to Sister was the final song that I wrote for Nocturnal Eyes. And this one I wrote about something very important to me, which is the power of women. This song is a creative exploration of the importance and the significant contribution that women give to society. Although this song explores this through four different female characters, it truly is a reflection of all women. Well, I was very pleased that Mallory asked me to play on her album. Uh, it's an album which is comprised mostly of original material of her own or her very original approaches to material. But there was, she wanted to do one sort of traditional tune, uh, make someone happy. I think she knew that I really liked that tune and she wanted to sing it. So I was delighted to be asked to do that. And we made a, a nice recording of that tune. It's, a, it's one of the great classic tunes. I'm really looking forward to it. It's this kind of a nice juxtaposition uh, between the originals and the original approaches to other tunes and this great old standard. Uh, and I'm delighted by it. We're already talking about another record as we, as we speak. Someone to love is the answer. None of this would have been possible without the generous support and financial contributions from the Alberta Foundation for the Arts and Bent River Records. Feel grace in being